Yeah, I haven't been doing much with Tucson knives recently as far as, you know, taking a look at the new models they're coming out with. And so I picked this one up off of White Mountain Knives. And I can see they are now out of stock. And you can thank me for that, probably. I probably bought the last one. God only knows. $84.99. But no, I didn't pay that. $8.50 off. So... It's in the 70-some-odd dollar range. It's a TS-337. And I got it because I read these stats saying it's almost 9 inches long, you know, 3.75-inch blade, long design, all that kind of stuff. They got anything over here other than 4.2 ounces. Okay, so I thought, well, this is a good size knife. And there's something about the look of this that looks pretty... Pretty badass, really. I like the design here, what he's done. And, you know, usually I don't jump up and grab knives that are black. But, I mean, this is really kind of a black wash. D2. So, some people go, why do you do D2? I mean, you know, 14C. And, okay, I mean, you know what? I don't know that I've seen any evidence that D2 is inferior to 14C for cutting performance. Obviously, it doesn't have as much chromium. So, but I mean, okay, they change up. They do this, they do that. I don't know if it was Wong, the designer that called for D2, or they just decided to do it in D2, whatever. But here it is. And so, is it a good size knife? Well, let's check it out. Oh, that's three and three quarter though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And the cutting edge is three and three quarter. Okay, four inches up to the, under there. So, 96 millimeter blade at, yeah, eight and three quarter. Over 22, not quite 22 and a half centimeters, but all right. 22.2 centimeters and it drops like that maybe it'll drop even better when i get done taking it apart and, and uh destroying it and let me see okay let's turn the let's turn the scale on see what we can see here grams 118 grams kick it kick it kick it and 4.16 ounces. Not bad. Okay. So, good size knife, right? Who makes this? Okay, and it's a 337. By the way, very lovely packaging concepts. Whatever. I mean, you know, all of us guys are like, who gives a crap? Just give me a good knife. And especially since... This thing was in the 70-some dollar range. Shit, I'm paying that for G10 and D2, okay? But check this out. And this flows into the bolster, comes down through here. That's okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, blade handle length, good. Design flow, good. I mean, not like Wong hasn't done like a billion different knives for Tucson, if they paid him a penny for every knife he's designed, <laughs> oh my God. Um, flipper tab, check it out. It's here, it's not crazy. I, it's kind of weird that he didn't cant it maybe more forward. Well, it's a long knife. You know what? I think this is appropriate, really. Uh, even though he's got a cutaway, nah, nah, it's too close to the pivot to really get any leverage on, and that's, that, that's pretty good detent there. Uh, yeah, woof. yeah, that's kind of a no-fail detail, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. When it does let loose, it, oop, 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 when it does let loose, yeah. It goes. I mean, it's no half-ass deal, and you can't. Yeah, I can't fail it. So, the the detent's good, considering the fact that that's the only way you're gonna kick this knife open is with the flipper tab. There's your stop. It's centered. 
it's no blade player lock rock no problems there so really i mean don't you think tucson's still a pretty good bargain for i mean 70 some smackers that's not too shabby they're not they're not as I mean, at least from what maybe i just haven't been paying attention but they're not exactly flooding the scene with new designs maybe as frantically as they were a couple of years ago but then again maybe i'm just not paying attention um you got a lanyard hole through here, so I guess it's just laying under. Well, it's it's probably tubed through that backspacer, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so what do we got? Number eight's in here. Yeah, so we do all that. Um, boy, there's a lot of milling on here, isn't there? Pocket clip. Yeah, I don't know if I'm, like, feeling that. I mean, from a design perspective... I think it's cool from a utilitarian and I have not carried this but I'm thinking this is probably not going to be the most effective uh, slide right in slide right out and really it could have gone deeper couldn't it and been a little because that's not a very deep clip and you could have either you could have backed the whole thing up and just kept the same length or you could have made this longer and taken it right up to this corner here and maybe down to that part you know what i'm saying made a little bit longer might have made it a little bit more flexible and uh i don't know okay but it's a titanium frame lock flipper flipper now let's see what we got well, it's not very fat. 0.47 at 11.9 millimeters. Let me see what the blade stock is up here. Ooh, 3.7 millimeter at 0.14. So, as far as blade stock goes, it's 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 pretty pretty thick. Check this out. It's kind of interesting how it just seems like this is abandoned area up here. Backspacer almost could have like rolled this out a little further you know what i mean and then maybe put the lanyard through here this area kind of just brought it out a little but okay a lot of stuff going on here see i think you got to get comfortable with what you're doing and comfortable with the software and everything to be able to throw a lot of design uh elements out and he does he does that's for sure so that's working drops good even considering in fact i haven't touched it uh so really right out of the box not too shabby not too shabby yeah, she's centered. Yeah. Ergos. Ergos are good. Yeah, it does feel kind of slender in the hand, though. It really does feel pretty slender. But uh, you got this thumb ramp that's jimped, so you can get right up on this. You really don't have a go-forward position. And I keep getting lube that's leaking out the front of that knife i'm gonna I'll take care of that when i get it opened up um hmm, i wonder let me just ponder the sh sharpness according to my own mental scale not bad not bad now and by and large by and large, Tucson knives are pretty sharp right out of the box, but that, I'd say that's that's on the plus side of factory sharpness. So I'm not going to complain there. But at least for you know sharpening purposes, you got this little cutaway, not really for go forward area, but um, you know the ergos are are pretty good. I mean, it's a pretty simple, yeah, shot down here. And let me see. Reverse grip, yeah, that's comfortable. 
easy to find your balance in here. And uh, so, yeah, um, you know, is this something that's, I mean, I've seen some Wii knives that have this kind of bird of prey look to them, you know, in the blade shape. Have you not? I mean, I've seen, God, I don't know, uh, half a dozen knives that kind of have this general kind of look to the blade. And, you know, probably for good reason. You can only do so many things and then you're kind of rolling over former territory. But, uh, yeah, interesting. And at least it was in stock. It was in stock. Okay, you busted, right? You went on to two. You went on to to White Mountain knives and started looking at Tucson knives and going, but what the hell's in stock, right? Okay, don't laugh at me though. Laugh at me. But, and yes, but I mean, even then, I refuse to buy a knife that I'm not attracted to. But Wong designs are a big favorite of mine, and you know what? This is something you could warm up to because it does feel light, real fidgety, easy to carry, and yet mm, almost nine inches overall length. Again, this big old long switch coming through here, and so your tip is pretty good shape, not real fragile. Piercing, slicing, yeah, pretty good overall uh little piece right there now I guess we ain't coming in from the front so we're coming in from the back and let me see what we got oh we kicked that away well that might have been a little a little little coming loose right at the time huh Whew, that was close I might need a little thread locker in the future if I'm going to do that. Um, I don't use thread locker very often unless it just kind of keeps coming loose on me with flipping, flipping, flipping. And then all of a sudden I got play because it's coming loose. Then I'll go back in and put just a little bit in there. Okay, so we got the racetrack. We got the... Come here. Okay. So we got, yeah, we got uh, steel washers in here. Bingo, bango. And this is the hardened steel insert, ceramic detent. And we have this stop. And we have a D shape, flat shape here to match up. And we got some bearings that are a little different. I mean, they kind of change them up here, don't they? On Tucson, let's kick all this out. Get these out. Okay, so these bearings, yeah, I like them like this. That's okay. Um, and this, woo, is that wet? Wowie, stop. Okay, so we're drilling for oil there. Okay, and then uh, here as well. Okay, so, and it's pretty daggone clean, but it got some lightweight oil in there, didn't that? Um, and, you know, it must have been from the factory, so they, they definitely uh, laid it on there. Okay, let's kick this back. Oh, flat spot means it goes where? Facing backwards? Yeah. Hold on, I didn't get you out. Okay, now we got... Now at least we got the oil dried off. Whew. Lord almighty. Okay. Okay, you got to look backwards. Okay, turn you around. Put that on. Put my stop on. Okay, we happy? Now, what are we doing? Oh, let's get the juice out. Let's just re We're not going to rejuice it like it was. Okay. Come here. And here. Here. You get one. You get two. You get the racetrack. And what do you got? Okay. Come here. Yeah, 
Come on. Sit your ass down. Okay, we're good. Okay. And, and finger tighten a little bit. Come here. And put this little puppy right on. Guess I wasn't paying attention to the fact the pocket clip was screwed on from the inside. But I guess I didn't have to mess with it regardless to get to the pivot and clean that up. So, okay. Uh, and no, we are not centered. So, um, how far do I got to jack this thing down? Oh, yeah, we, we weren't quite there, were we? Now we are. Now, hopefully, I didn't get quite too far, and I did. Damn it. Okay, let's back this up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Going in like a gorilla with a little too much pressure. Okay, that's dropping. Now is it centered? It's centered. Play? No play. Drop? Good drop. So, we're where we need to be with this one. 337. Zoiks! This is a good knife. Especially for the price. I mean, well, you can grab something in the $70 range. It's titanium and all number eight. Nice hardware on it. Good usable blade. And it's black washed out. Maybe that'll help with any potential corrosion, you know, since it's a semi stainless. All right. I think we're done. I think we're done. And we do love them knives, so you guys have a great rest of your day. Sub to my channel if you would be so kind, and stay sharp.